there's a question that we're all hearing nowadays and is is ketosis dangerous is the ketogenic diet a bad idea right so I'm going to share with you what I've learned on my journey and one thing that I've learned is that it might be our body's preferred state right and how the hell can we know there's no way of knowing right there's research in all directions research backing up all kinds of ideas so I think the best way to know is just to try it out just try it right I don't think anyone's gonna die from a ketogenic diet um, I think if you just try it out you'll see for yourself is this the right diet for me is this the right diet for me at this point in my life because it all changes right we're very dynamic and some people don't support that idea but a lot of people do right your metabolism will change throughout life throughout seasons throughout the year so I don't know give that a try and see what happens right then there's also that idea that a lot of tissues actually prefer ketones so who knows it might actually be a great source of fuel it might actually be a great metabolic state to be on right I don't know try it out then there's also the idea that the body can make its own glucose, right? There's essential amino acids, right? Essential fatty acids, but there's no essential carbohydrates, right? The body can make its own glucose. And you're still eating a little bit of carbohydrates on the ketogenic diet. So maybe it actually works. Maybe it actually is a state that the body prefers, that the body can th thrive on, that the body can do really well on that state. I don't know, right? And then there's also the idea that a lot of people report intense mental clarity when they're doing a seven day fast around day six or seven when the ketones are very high. So, and there's a ton of research and ideas on and people supporting the fact that it does support mental clarity and mental function and all that. So that might be another reason why the diet is good, right? I don't know. There's a lot of people bashing, like criticizing the ketogenic diet right now. And all diets come and go and fads and this and that. And I've tried everything because I like to try different diets. And I feel great on the ketogenic diet. And I know... The idea also that it might be more of a survival state, right? Which, I don't know, it might be true, so maybe that's where we feel better because of, uh, there's a lot of reasons. I won't go into that right now because I don't want to make the video too long, but it could be that that's why, right? It's more of a survival state. Who knows? I don't think, it, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the best diet long term. But maybe it is, right? Who knows? I think, like I said, we're very dynamic beings, right? Our metabolism are way more complex than we maybe realize. Um, so it might not be the best long term, but I think it's worth trying and seeing how your body reacts, right? Don't let books or blogs or other people dictate how you eat for the rest of your life it's okay to learn we all need to learn maybe the basics and all that kind of stuff but then it comes to a time like okay am i gonna keep reading books or am i gonna try the diet am i gonna try these things to see if they work for me because we're all different right there are times when certain things work for me and then you get to a point that it doesn't right everything works until it doesn't remember that that was something really cool that i learned a while ago everything works until it doesn't for some people the ketogenic diet works for a long time for years and years and years and for other people other diets work so i'm not going to say which diet is the best i'm just going to share my journey from now f going forward of whatever i'm trying and whatever works for me so Right now I'm trying the ketogenic diet, I did it a little while ago, went out of ketosis because I wanted to go back in and just kind of have that experience again too, so that I can help you better through it too. And I always like to experience all that stuff and just have the experience myself rather than just learning from books the whole time. I, I read a ton of books but I also like to experience things. So is ketosis dangerous? That, that's the million dollar questions nowadays um, I don't know 
try it out, please. Just if you feel right, I don't think it's for everyone, but if you feel inspired to give it a try and see how your body feels, then give it a try, right? No one, that's the other thing too, no one will care more about your health than you, right? That's why I've taken my health in my, in my own hands, like being responsible for my own health. And I think trying different things, I think that's how we get there, right? Learning, I learn so much more about my body the more that I try things. It's a constant evolution of learning more about my body and I love it, I love it because I, I don't know, I feel more connected to my body and I feel better and I continue to heal and just have more energy and it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful journey. So, that's it. Is ketosis dangerous? I don't know. What do you think? Let me know below and a lot more tips on ketosis coming soon. Have a good one.